Well, hello everyone, I'm Wesley, Game of Time to Know, and welcome to Darksiders 1. This game has been remastered recently, I have played both 1 and 2, but we're going to go through the remastered versions of both games, and I'm going to be releasing them simultaneously, so, because you really don't need to understand fully the first one, because they, they take place alongside it pretty much are about the same story but they both have separate plots which is really good so we're gonna go ahead and get started hopefully my controls are still the same I'm gonna go ahead and do normal I would do apocalyptic but I don't feel like dealing with that hassle right now it's a wonderful rainy day here so since the dawn of the armies of heaven and hell have waged an endless war. Drawn to the conflict was the Charred Council, an entity bound by ancient laws to preserve order and balance. It held that any great power, unchecked, threatened the very fabric of the universe. In time, heaven and hell can do honor the Council and its laws. For none were beyond the swift and terrible justice of the Council's enforcers. A fearsome brotherhood known as the Four Horsemen. Amid the turmoil, the first humans emerged. The Council foretold that these weak but cunning creatures would someday be integral to the balance. Thus, a third kingdom was named. The Kingdom of Man. By order of the Council, a truce was forged between Heaven and Hell. The Great Pact was bound by seven seals to be broken at the appointed time, when Man's Kingdom stood ready for the End War. A battle that would bring balance and determine the ultimate fate of the Three Kingdoms. Alright, well, there's your explanation right there. So... Heaven and Hell hate each other. THQ Nordic is Nordic Games, but they own all the licenses to most of the THQ games, so they decided to rename themselves as THQ Nordic. I kind of like that, though. I'm going to shut up and let this cinematic play out now. Basically, Heaven and Hell are going to go to war. Seventh seal is broken, four horsemen shall ride. If something like this ever happens, we're screwed. sword flip that was cool
Well, pretty much, it's apocalypse is ending. We got demons everywhere. So we'll have turn our little chaos on. Basically, this is our fucking God of War Titan. Wrath of the Gods one. I think I need to change my controls here for one second. Bear with me, you. I apologize. It seems like every time I play this game, it changes my controls. Which is weird. Alright. WAR IS HERE! Yes, I'm here. I'm a, I'm a badass. cut him right in half. Basically, the way to describe this game, it's a God of War, the Legend of Zelda kind of crossover. With a bit of a uh, different... Yeah, I, I was going to say Metroidvania, but it's not like that at all. Why the hell? Why do I have this? I don't want that. What an achievement. Oh. Here we go. There we go. Open air parking. <laughs> hit, a, hit a helicopter with a car during the apocalypse. Judgment approaches! Got, you're me basically meeting the majority of the enemies right here in the game. We will not so, yield! The angels, the demons, pretty much. Dang it, I keep... Ah, damn it. Want to get the freaking finisher? Up. There we go. Oh lord! I apologize again. Oh no! Up with this game and change my graphics, and my settings on. God! Like nothing wants to say. Oh. What is happening? Oh, we lost our chaos form and a lot of our health. Oh my god. Those of you who don't know, Liam O'Brien is the voice of War. He did a good job. He did a good job in it. The only thing I don't like about it is it's, it's, oh, it's Basically, his officer of this. At least he changed it up for Illidan in uh, World of Warcraft. Oh, there's one right there. We got angels! Damn it. Your justice is at hand! Yeah. Demons, come on, boys. Ah, like, this game brings back a lot of memories. Oh, 
hello big angel. Hi big angel. We'll fight them later on in the game. What did that poster say? Eats in two. Eats in again. What the hell? Ah, no, get away from me. Ah, what the hell? Yeah, show him the boss. Just, I like the art style. Joe, I know I'm gonna butcher his last name. Joe Mandarin, Mandaro. Yeah, I would rather not be playing. He pretty much designed these characters. It's so good on how he created some of them. Yeah, I know there's even more people in the art studio and all that, but he basically was the one that made them roll and all that. One time, me and my friends were talking about this game, and one of them asked, "What if Spawn and the Four Horsemen had a crossover?" It's like, um, I wouldn't know what to think about that. It's like Spawn. Every, every game he's been in, they have not articulated the cape into his playstyle. Like the cape is him. The cape is who he is. Oh, they're dead. We got more angels. Bring him down. No, don't bring him down. Let him kill. We will not yield. Your justice is at hand! We will not yield! Alright. I think we're about to get to the first boss. Sorry, let me phrase that. Quote unquote first boss. Ah, uh, here we are. We will not yield. Shut up, angels. Seal was not broken. 
Abaddon! <laughs> what in heaven's name have you done? I answer the call. Asshole, I mean Straga. Let's dance, bitch. actually took the fucking car! God damn it. Come on, big boy. Before the remastered of this game came out, uh, the other day, I played this game, the original version, and just by looking, I got to this point, and just by looking at how immensely more detailed Straga is, you can tell it's right now. Just by fighting this boss on the original and then playing the remastered, you can tell that they did a lot better work on the graphics. I know it may not seem like a lot, but you're just like, you're like I don't get it. Play the original, then play this one, and you can see the graphics. Usually, if, usually when he throws it, he'll have a chance of throwing an extra car. One of those cars have a chance of surviving, and you can use that, or he'll run into it when he swings around his uh, left arm right there. Or sorry, his right arm. My left is right. How did I run into it? No, fuck you. We're in this fight right now. We're in it now. Ow. We're in this fight right now. <laughs> Have mercy. When I rode, 
Heaven and Hell were already at war. Abaddon was there. He knew something. Abaddon fell, fighting off the chaos you unleashed. I fought powerless against the demons, and still you accuse me? Your defeat proves nothing. Likely the Destroyer cast you aside when he was finished with you. You have defiled the law, Horseman. You will be punished. I serve only the Council. Only the Balance. As the Horsemen always have. Send me back. I will punish the ones responsible. How? What hope do you have against the Destroyer's armies? You are powerless. Then I will fail. And the demons will have carried out your sentence. Very well. You will return to the Earth. But you will be watched. Come forth. Now introducing Mark Hamill. The Watcher is bound to you. It will ensure your loyalty. <laughs> Remember that, or I will really get under your skin. Enough! Rise, war, and arm yourself. Well, we're gonna call it right there. Uh, so basically, we're bone. I'm just kidding. We're gonna go to Earth, strike down some uh, unholy vengeance upon them demons and them angels. And first, we need to get our weaponry and our souls. I am what's okay. The hold on. Eater. The angry blade thirsts for destruction. Thank you for introducing the weapon, even though I haven't even walked up to the pedestal yet! Anyways, I am Wesley, Gary, what should I know? I will see you guys later. Bye bye!